Good evening, bargainers, and today we keep a vigilant watch. So, what I have for you today, guys, is the WizCam from Wiz Labs. So what this camera brings to you is 110 degree rotation speed, 360 degree rotation pan, 93 degree vertical range, giving you 360 degree coverage in under three seconds, all for under $40. What more can you ask for? So let's go ahead and move on to the unboxing. All right, that was snug. Ooh. Okay. First and foremost, we have instruction manual. Pretty simple. Oh, look. Okay, Google Play, App Store. Okay, and it works with Alexa. She heard me. Cancel. She heard me. Shh. Okay, what we have here is how do you open this okay all right can't take that out okay i guess this box is uh ah, i'm gonna have to tear it i got to tear it no, i'm gonna have to tear it, it has that it's that weird box with the hook and there we go oh my god i can't believe i was bested by a box yay box of goodies Okay. Do not eat. We have the charger. Well, power. Power cable. All right, since I tore that box up. And we have here is the WizCam itself. You can, you can check out the little lens over here. It's pretty nice. I'm being bested once again by the box. I should be ashamed of myself. I should be ashamed of myself. Okay, let's try it this way. It's really in there. All right, I'm gonna try just pulling it. And wow, it's really in there. I'm trying my best not to break the box, like the first box, but it's really in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, there you go. Snug like a bug in a rug. All right, so here we have the whisk cam itself and the mess that I've made. Should probably use scissors next time. Okay. Ooh. Isn't she a beaut? So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, set up the whiz cam. Uh, first and foremost, if you're using, uh, you're using Apple, you can go ahead and go to the Apple Store and download the whiz app. So that's downloaded. You can open it up. Let's set her up. It says to peel off the little screen thing. Um, got to connect it to the power. So, the power outlet is actually in the bottom on the little baseboard, which is cool, which is cool. Makes sense because if the whisk cam is panning and tilting, you don't have to worry about, you know, it wrapping around the cable. Connect it to this power bank here. Um, says to press the little setup button until you hear a beeping sound. Press and hold. Holy crap. Ready to connect. Scared the bejesus out of me. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. 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 All right. 
scared the crap out of me. Ready to connect. All right. Yes, ma'am. I see. I, I heard ready to connect. That's what it says on the phone. Da. And then it's going to prompt you to your, pa uh, to your Wi-Fi. Da. Put in your Wi-Fi password. Ready to connect. Connect. Uh, point your WizCam towards the, the QR code on the screen. So you want to point your WizCam towards this QR code here. QR code scanned. Please wait. Okay. So it says right here, I heard QR code scanned. Please wait. So I'm tap that. And it says connecting. Setup completed. So now you want to name your camera. I'm going to name it Cam1. Update successfully and start. Nothing. Nothing. Share a device with other users. No, I do not. Okay. Device name and share. Click here to see live stream and notification. So I guess you click on the device. There you go. A new firmware don't answer again. Cancel. And there you have it. So there you have it. You have visual of the whiz cam. Now let's test out the pan and tilt. Down, up, left, right, all right. So here you go, here's how the interface looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and play with the pen and tilt. Wanna see this up and down? It's always good to have a camera that, that has a pan and tilt fe feature, but to be honest with you, um, it's also a bad thing. Make sure that you don't accidentally pan it or tilt it in the wrong direction, and then if something were to happen, then you miss out on the action or you miss certain because you miss something because of the fact that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't at the right angle. So be mindful of that, but it's a pretty nice camera and it's really stylish and it's 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 small it's small it's very cheap it's durable it's a nice little camera it's a nice little camera for under forty dollars i don't think you can really ask for much WizCam offers a case uh for the camera that covers the camera and weatherproofs it so let's say you want to set this camera up outside your house uh, just connect it into the case, just put it into the weatherproof case. And let's say you want to purchase six of these cameras. Six of these cameras for $37 and something cents, you're looking at $227 altogether. My, my, my math is a little off, but $227 altogether, you set these all around your house and you use the same app to view all of your cameras, to stream everything. And of course you have, you get notifications and all of that good stuff. So. Again, you can't go wrong with this camera. It's pan and tilt features, uh, voice recording, um, notification, motion sensing. Um, it has its own SD slot in the bottom. It has its own SD slot in the bottom. So, you know, you don't really have to get a subscription. You can just keep all your um, keep all your media inside there and view it whenever you want or, or erase it, whichever. So as far as pricing go, it's a camera that's under $40. To be honest with you, you don't find that much often. So because of that, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. So next we look at functionality. Because of this camera's pan and tilt feature and the way it does it so effortlessly, I'll give it an easy five out of five. Now, as far as looks goes, the whiz cam, it only comes in white unfortunately, but I guess that's the WizCam style. But other than that, it's a pretty good looking device if I may say so myself. 
So because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five out of five. And lastly, we're gonna move on to the durability. Well, the camera does have some weight to it, but it's not that heavy. And I honestly feel like if this camera, if this camera was too high up and it were to fall a couple of times, this would be the end of the camera. But Wizcam did kind of think about that and they put a nice anti-slip grip on the bottom. So because of that, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. So which leaves us at a grand total of 19 out of 20 bargain stamps of approval. So if you guys are in the market for brand new cameras and you don't intend to break the bank, consider the Wizcam, the pan and tilt camera. It's $37, you get pan and tilt features and if you intend to put this outside, you can get yourself a nice little cover case, waterproof it, and place it outside. No hassle, no hustle, no bustle. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. It's fun, it's free, and who doesn't like free? I know I do.